uh, out getting my steps in, so I thought I would uh, give everybody a wellness check. Um, for everybody who's reached out to me over the last few days uh, to see how I'm doing, um, long story short, I uh, haven't been feeling particularly great since my birthday. Um, been having a very, very hard time sleeping. Uh, just horrible nightmares. Haven't been eating. Haven't, haven't having like migraines and like you know, taking nothing but uh, you know Advil and whatever, which isn't good for your stomach in any way, shape, or form. Um, running wild between two two theaters and then running to get whatever creative projects that I can done. And um, anybody who offers me anything, I try to jump in on it and, and get stuff done or connect people or whatever because. You know, I'm trying to, you know, <laughs> trying to be more than I actually am. Um, but uh, a couple nights ago, um, uh, particularly bad night, unable to sleep, and uh, woke up the next day with this weird taste in my mouth, this weird feeling in my chest, uh, got up to go vote, and took a header down the steps. Um, I, I blacked out. I uh, thought it was just a panic attack because that happened to me once before when I worked at uh, ScreenWave um, during all that shit. Uh, and I thought it was just dehydration and I hit my head on my uh, bathroom sink uh, in my old apartment. Um, but no, this was uh, my, my blood pressure is extremely high. My, um, my blood sugar was incredibly low. Um, I got a concussion. And I've apparently had 13 concussions in my life, um, so now they're worried about CTE, uh, which is worrisome. I haven't been particularly honest with my uh, with my therapist over the last, you know, a couple months because you want to show people that you're making great progress, um, and uh, there are times where you just don't feel like you are actually making great progress. Uh, so, you know, I, 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 I shouldn't be doing that. It's just the idea of getting older and, and, and not seeing projects come to the place where you think they need to or work come to the place where you need to. So, yeah, so that wasn't good. So I was in the hospital. Um, I still had to go to work that day, though, because nobody nobody could cover. Uh, I took today off. Today, today's Thursday. Um, got blood pressure medication that I have to take, uh, reevaluating. Um, you know, the antidepressants that I'm on and all that kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, just gotta make, just, j j you know, it's, it's easier fucking said than done when you go like, oh, you gotta make life changes or you're gonna die. Like I, I'm, I am already kind of, you know, I, I already know I'm probably not going to live very long. Um, but, uh, you know, that's, that's kind of what it is, but people do care for some fucking weird reason and I'm trying my best to, you know, to not let people down and, and, and all that kind of stuff. And, and, you know, Mets came by and, uh, took me out to get wings. So I ate something on Tuesday night and, um, you know, everybody's been calling and reaching out and stuff like that. So I, I, I do appreciate that, but I'm always the person like, I don't like asking anybody for help. I don't want to be a burden on people, um, you know, but when, when people like, you know, I, <laughs> when people find out that like, you know, oh, you had Bell's palsy, you have CTE, uh, I had a mini stroke when um, I had my nervous breakdown in, in 2021 from all the Cinemasker stuff, uh, you know, all the people are like, were looking at my like medical shit recently and they're like, what the fuck, dude? And I was like, I know I'm trying my best not to you know, I, I do this all to myself. All of my problems in my life are completely self-inflicted. Um, and, you know, and, and it doesn't help that I let, you know, I let the fucking internet troll people get back at me recently because, you know, I, I made a mistake of uh, sending a birthday gift to somebody who does not want to ever hear from me again. I guess they told people and and it opened the door to trolls coming at me again, so whatever. I just got to learn to fucking block that shit out. I'm 42 years old. It shouldn't matter anymore, you know, but it does. It, you know, you're, I, I'm very much the kind of person that, like, um, I don't know. I don't know how to love myself, so I want other people to like me and love me and tell me that 
like what I'm doing is good and smart and all that kind of shit. And it's like, I just watched the Sylvester Stallone uh, documentary um, on Netflix where he's like, you know, I didn't have a great childhood coming up. So, you know, uh, all of the, all of the things I did were just to get other people's attention to fill that cup. And that's kind of how I feel, you know, um, not that I'm, you know, uh, <laughs> he's talented and stuff. I'm not. But, uh, yeah, so I just wanted to kind of jump on real quick and uh, and tell people that um, I'm all right and I appreciate you reaching out to me and, and there's a cute dog over there. Um, yeah, that's it. I don't know. Um, I'm, I'm going to do better. I'm going to try to keep doing better. I'm going to be honest with my therapist, going to keep getting all the steps in and 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 uh and all that shit and and you know i'm, I'm not gonna quit doing movie reviews i know i've talked about it a couple times but you know it's a way for me to for you guys to hold me accountable as to at least stay in contact with everything and um you know i i just gotta learn how to fucking forgive myself man and 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 figure out a way to let go of the past and stop haunting myself for shit that i did and can't undo so that's it. Uh, thank you again for, you know, for checking in on me and, and continuing to check in on me. And, you know, I'm, I'm sore as shit. My, my left uh, cheek and my ribs and my wrist are still pretty fucked up. But nothing's broken. I'm not dead. Could be. Only woke up because my cat was licking my face. So got that going for me. And going on walks every day, I found weird shit like a metal pretzel. <laughs> Philadelphia, man. Philadelphia. All right. Um, that's it. Just wanted to say thank you. Wanted to check in on people, let you know that I've read everything and, and seen everything. And, uh, you know, and, and I do very, very much appreciate it because I don't believe that I deserve that. But, you know, it is what it is. And I had a nice long you know, long talk with Fallon the other day and, and long talk with Mets the other day and, um, and, you know, and, and, you know, complete fucking strangers on the internet have reached out to me when my own family hasn't checked in on me to see how I am and, and even older friends haven't. So, you know, it is what it is. Uh, that's life. Everybody's kind of doing their own thing and I'm just trying to, you know, figure out how to keep on keeping on and, 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 you know, good shit is going to happen and I need to stop being afraid that, you know, once something good happens for me that like, you know, screen wave or old friends or, or trolls are going to get it taken away from me or something like that. Cause that's been, it's like, they've been like the sort of Damocles hanging over my fucking head, uh, over the last, um, two years is you have good things happen. And then like somebody drops a line to an advertiser and they, they take that thing away from you. You know, I had uh, blue chew came to me and then another uh and the asylum came to me and they're like hey man we were sent this thing and we can't work with you now but uh hymns reached out to me i'll totally pretend my dong don't work if it means getting paid for it so <laughs> um you know and i'll say hey i you know i'm getting older i don't have the same kind of testosterone level you know so i don't know I'm, i'll do anything uh, but yeah, you know, uh, there are good things happening and there are people who I've worked with in the last year who are, you know, pushing for me to just like fucking chill because good stuff's going to happen. It's just, I'm impatient. I want things to show. I want to look like I'm making more progress than I am because, you know, I, I'm, I'm constantly chasing ghosts, you know, but that's it. Ooh. Oh, for anybody who saw the, um, the uh, Adam Sandler um, basketball movie that came out like two or three, two years ago, something like that, when he makes like the dude run up and down the hill, that's this road right here. It's it's like next to my house um, and, you know, fucking Pretzel Park. Uh, but yeah, it's I haven't really had a chance to walk around much, but the last, uh, yesterday when I got home from work after watching Marvels, it was like 2 a.m., I decided to take a long walk and then today doctor's appointments and therapist and, and all that shit. And then I decided to take a long walk again today. So I'm trying to get the cardio up and, and, you know, go into Alabama in December to make a movie. And I want to be fat, you know, I want to, if I'm going to be on camera, I want to, I want to at least, you know, look okay. So 
Thank you again, everybody. This is much more long-winded than I thought it would be, but it, it does mean a lot that so many of you give a fuck about some fucking, you know, 42-year-old loser who just curses on the internet. Um, you know, I don't feel like I offer much. Nothing's edited. Not, you know, it's just a bunch of stream of thought, opinion, garbage, and talking about things like Wawa and, and you know, places like that that you guys have no concept of because many of you are nowhere near the East Coast. So the fact that anybody gives a shit and tunes in and, in, you know, and in, in, in Chile or in, in, you know, Buenos Aires or something, or, you know, Germany, like people, uh, Norway people, you know, uh, who, who watch and keep in touch with us. Like, I, I, I do very much appreciate it. YouTube's a weird place, man. I don't understand it half the time. I don't get why anybody watches, anybody cares, but you clearly do. And I don't want to let you down. I don't want to be a, a broken, you know, fucking crybaby pity party boy, you know, I want to, I want this next chapter of my life to, to be better and to prove to myself and to other people that I'm not what I was labeled for so long. And, and, you know, I live with my fucking mistakes every single day, man. They, they drive me to the point where I fall down my steps because I pass out from stress, you know? Um, but I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying my best. So I appreciate it. And, um, all right, that's it.